And one thing you are loving about him, this is AI. What would be your advice to the aspiring food technologists who are, you know, having the dream, who are looking to get into FSS AI? So, any tips for the preparation for the aspirants? Hi everyone, hope you all are doing well. It gives us a great feeling to impart knowledge and guidance to you guys and grow bigger day by day as a family. And we wish to throw more light on the perspective of industry for which you all are getting prepared. Like every day we get a lot of questions like what does it feels like to work in an industry, how to take a step forward to you know pursue your dreams of studying abroad, what does it takes to work in a government organization. So, to help you uh, get more clarity on your future decisions and goals, Udemy has come up with five talks where you can directly hear from the experienced personals, clear your doubts, get inspiration from them, and of course, get to know about their roller coaster ride in the area of food technology. So, uh, assuming you all are really excited for it, let's begin. Today, we have a very special guest with us, Ms. Sakshi Gorkhere. She has done her B.Tech in Food Technology from Delhi University and M.Tech from NIFTEM in the area of Food Safety and Quality Management. And she's currently working as a Technical Officer in FSSAI. Hi, how are you Sakshi? Uh, I am doing just fine Avneet. Just not very comfortable with the formal session with you. But yes, let's go about it. That's really true. Uh, Sakshi, tell us something. May, uh, interesting about yourself which I might have you know missed out in your introduction so you might have missed out on the fact that you know maybe somewhere food Amy is responsible for where I am today uh, I still remember you know Neha teaching us everything line by line instrumentation you know from the school and then you getting behind my back to you know study 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 Aaj hi khatam karna hai. And then Smriti getting this, the syllabus and notes and everything. And then I also remember Parinder, she would, uh, you know, ask all of us to come to her room. And then she would have this white board and markers and duster ready. And she'd be like this proper tutor. So, and she was a strict one, yes. Uh, so, yes, maybe, you know, our friend circle back then who'd help me study has created this platform. So, yes, that's one thing that maybe you have missed out okay so um this might sound like a paid promotion but uh it's not <laughs> okay yes it's not i hope it was i wish it was so sakshi before going further i'd like to ask uh, did you always want you to do food technology i mean what actually made you choose this field okay so food technology was never my first option uh i mean honestly it was not i was actually preparing for mbbs I did get into a few colleges, but those were not the colleges that I desired for. So, yes. Uh, and during that time, one of my friends had completed his bachelor's in food tech and he was working at some fancy organization or something. So, you know, his mother was uh, bragging about him to my mother and then obviously like any other typical mother. So, she came to me and she was like... Uh, you know, he's doing this B-Tech in Food Technology ka course, uh, see what it is all about and everything. So that's when, you know, my interest developed and, you know, I looked into the curriculum and it was very interesting. It was very fascinating. I, I did uh, look into it and it was like, oh, all these big vessels and machineries and it was related to food, of course. So that uh, and then, uh, you know, by the time um, when we were done giving the NEET and everything, the cutoffs for Delhi University had also come in. And I got, you know, into one of the colleges and one of the premier institutes. So, yes. So, I did not want to leave that option. And hence, this. So, uh, you did your B.Tech from Lady Urban College and ours was the very first batch. <laughs> so, how was your B.Tech journey? So my B.Tech journey has been amazing. Obviously, it was University of Delhi. You know the whole curriculum and, uh, you know, we were the first batch of FYUP. So yes, we had a lot of extra subjects, English, Hindi, Maths and whatnot. But then they were interesting. We, we did a lot of plays and music, you know, musicals and everything. And we were centrally located. So we had Triveni Cafe just behind us. And then we had NSD, National School of Drama in front of us. And Sriram Center, the theater groups, you could go watch theaters. And there was Union and 
you know the proper delhi university feels so obviously it was amazing it it did groom us right so yeah it did yeah so how this this fyup program help you as you said it helped in you know in grooming us so yes it did help us you know in grooming and everything else per se because you know we were straight out of school so from um, getting fed to you know feeding ourselves and everything about delhi university again the fyup batch we had a lot of subjects which were not the part of curriculum earlier so again as i said we had so much you know other activities involved uh, we had plays and dramatics musicals everything we had so many presentations we had so many presentations to give so all that did help us you know in making us what we are today it did groom us for the initial steps you know so sakshi after your btech in like delhi university you uh, did your mtech from niftim so doing mtech and applying for it is a very big step right so uh, what made you select particularly mtech in food safety and quality management and that too from niftim okay so uh, during my bachelor's days only i mean during the end of it i was um, pretty clear in my head that i am still not ready for the industry i need some more some more feeding uh, to go for the industry so uh, back then for masters niftim was one really good option also i was very clear with the fact that i did not want to go into research hence not other premier institutes i mean i wanted to go to niftim because they uh, they uh, have this ki they uh, make students industry oriented right so that is the reason i wanted to opt for niftim and then obviously it had to be through gate and then the preparations for gate started and then we scored pretty okay in gate and then we you know got there and then food safety and quality management was something that i really wanted to be a part of it was my first option it was my preference per se because uh, you know in india abhi bhi there's a lot of work that has to go in food safety and quality management the other subjects did not interest me as much as this particular field did so yes this so um, as we all know that niftim and delhi university if you see are very different i have different environment right so how is your personal experience in niftim different from lady urban niftim was totally different from delhi university we all know the delhi university culture right and then when we went to niftim it was a cultural shock as well um and also i did feel uh, confined to boundaries at first and um, there were not many extra curricular activities as compared to university of delhi but then again we were in masters right so dheere dheere karke i i i did feel okay because we actually did not have the time for all these things we missed out on the activities which were already planned for us because we had so much to do bit thesis paperwork industrial work and everything uh, so yeah it it did not bother much in the later phases but initially when there was a switch yes it was a bit difficult uh sakshi you also got a placement in niftim am i right so uh yes could you I, tell I us about that suruchi... yes so i was placed in suruchi spices private limited um again the placement was through niftim only i did sit for the company because it was uh, basically based out in nagpur so my hometown is in nagpur uh, though i have been born and brought up here so i was uh, you know of this opinion that if not delhi then probably nagpur because i would be in a protected environment so yes i did apply for suruchi spices and i did clear the interview and then i joined back then <laughs> so what was your role in suruchi spices okay this is a funny story okay so uh, i was offered the position of research and development executive um but then when i went there i was asked to conduct brc audit for one of the units one of their units which was into you know manufacturing of pickles ketchups and sauces so um taking a brc certification for such units is not easy because there's a lot of liquid processing that 
takes place you know you can imagine ketchups and pickles being processed in a unit and taking brc audit for it it was one difficult task but then uh, i was asked to do so so i took that and then i was also asked to get involved in business development so i got involved in business development as well and likewise a lot of um uh, activities were also happening simultaneously be it branding or promotional activities or marketing so uh, i was very lucky because the owners got me involved in all these activities so i i i really got a holistic approach because it gave me a bird eye view of the industry so that ways so that was i guess a great learning experience for you where you touched all the departments right uh yes it did because uh, you know i got a birds eye view of the entire industry how the organization works be it admin roles or regulatory work or quality assurance quality control business development everything so yes so sakshi you made a shift from private sector to government sector and we all know you know the working environment are completely different so how was this transition there was a drastic transition because you know uh, maybe the workload comparatively decreased but then um, the office procedures are very different so uh, we still learning we still, we we have continuous trainings you know so um, we have this uh, trainings for e filing system filing system office procedures and everything so we are still learning uh, it is more of file work as compared to you know how it used to be in the private sector wherein work would be done via mail keeping bosses in cc and everything but it doesn't happen this way here everything goes through a procedure a file and you know it's very uh, difficult uh, when you know people say ki sarkari kaam is slow sarkari kaam is not slow we 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 know how much efforts we have to put in daily and everything it's just that everything has to go through a procedure we we do not have this option of shortcuts because we are answerable to a pub, to the public we are answerable to the public so we do not have this option of you know skipping things or omitting some things it has to has to go through a procedure so it does take time but it's it's we everyone of us is putting in efforts yeah so uh, like now you're working in a government organization so what is the one thing you miss about working in a private firm again the fact that you know especially talking about me uh, i had so many multiple things to do the kind of person that i am and the kind of work that i enjoy i i like keeping my hands at different things at the same time but here uh, it is quite different as in we have one work which we stick to i mean there are multiple works but not as multidisciplinary as it was in the previous sector so that ways it is different so sakshi you uh, are a technical officer at fsci so tell us about your duties and responsibilities so currently i am posted in the science and standards division at the headquarters and i am looking after product approvals for the non specified products and um, before this i was posted in the quality assurance division so quality assurance division there are two uh, divisions in quality assurance i was in quality assurance division second which means i was looking after strengthening and upgradation of state food labs in india so that is it so what exactly is the process of new product approvals i mean what is your role in that process okay so what happens is any food business operator fbo has to um, you know get a product approved which is not standardized or uh, which does not have any standards set as of yet they have to fill a form and they have to send it across to us with all the supporting documents so when we receive those documents when we receive that form we scrutinize we do a preliminary scrutiny of that uh, form and it it is like a study as well for us also there's a learning for us also we compare it to the previous standards standards set by uh, other countries and their efficacy their viability everything everything that may be related to that particular product and then we send it across to a expert committee and then in the expert committee what happens is they'll scrutinize it even more based on scientific data and their knowledge they'll you know either approve or reject it 
and then we'll communicate the same to the fbo whether the product is you know accepted or rejected okay so a lot of work goes into it but yeah it sounds really yes. interesting yes so sakshi now as we know that you know fsci notification is released and the exam is about to approach so students are very eager to know are very really curious to know about the examination preparation tips and actually are putting in a lot of effort for the preparation so um tell us about the fsci exam how did you prepare for the preliminary round okay of me to all the people you know how much i prepared for the exam it's not like i did not prepare for it at all as it seems to the people but yes i i i i am very interested in a lot of subjects in a lot of topics so i keep myself updated with them so you know i keep reading the fssa website if there are new regulations i'll you know i'll just keep myself updated with all the facts and any novel technologies which come up of or you know i'll keep reading reading newsletters and everything so that's how i kept myself updated also because the exam was just after our masters it was easier for us you know comparatively because there was no gap yeah. year or something or a, there was no gap so it was comparatively easier for us and then we had a, a second round also a written based round so what was your strategy to approach it Okay, so I was already working at one place, which was a full time job, like really a full time job, being a private sector, you know. And post office hours also, I was working for the firm. Uh, but uh, then, you know, what happened is I could relate to the questions which came in the written round. So all the questions that were asked, I somewhere or the other had worked on it in my uh, previous company. So I remember there was a question on audit. so as i mentioned i was looking after audits and there was a question on pickle as well and i was looking after the pickle factory as well so you know i could relate to most of the questions so it was much easier for me to you know write those so yes that helped me but this is this was my experience which helped so obviously it's it's how the student takes it yeah that's very true now uh, sakshi like this time there is only cbt right there is no written round so what do you think is is it better to have a written round or you know it was better without it no so see it's very subjective you know because uh, i have talked to a lot of people here also for some um, they prefer cbt rounds because it's very clear it's either a yes or a no it's either plus 1 or zero there's no in between in written rounds it's your uh, writing skills also that matter how you put across a point point right so it's very subjective so you cannot actually say what works you know because it is a individual thing what works for me might not work for you so <laughs> i hope it's cbt and you know it's easy to calculate also cbt mein but yeah so any tips for the preparation for the aspirants uh i'd like everyone to go through the fssa website first fssa website is one of the most active websites because all the regulations all the advisories orders that come you know it will be posted the very same day it is released if you see also the date when it is released and it is put on the website is the same and um, you'll find a lot of things you'll see web, uh, webinars also you'll see lecture series on FS, fssa website you you can see all the regulations there all the standards everything everything so i think fssa ki website is the best study material that you can have also i i'd want to say practice as many mcqs as you can as many mcqs as you can because obviously it's cbt again so the more you practice them it's better and then again uh, what i'd suggest is you can always take out uh, take time for the difficult portions like you already have the syllabus right so what you can do is start with the difficult subjects and as the time you know jaise hi time aata hai what you can do is um, start revising the subjects which were the topics that were difficult for you and the ones that were easier for you as in you can have a revision of both of them simultaneously then but always start with the difficult topic that is my suggestion if you think you can cover the easier subjects first and then just you know sideline them even that works so whatever strategy works for you works for you but obviously you have to be very consistent with your studies you just cannot leave it 
for a day or two and just you know just be in touch you know i, I see a lot of um, people being on instagram or whatsapp or facebook or whatever scrolling we you know once you start scrolling and everything there's yeah. no time limit for it so, <laughs> so what you can do is there's a phone pe raat ko lage hain so what you can do is you know go through the web, fssa website only maybe so that also i have another suggestion for the students you know uh, get in touch with other people of fssa or anyone who's you know uh, related to our fields be it scientists or lecturers professors anyone who's related to your field so you know what they'll they'll always keep posting something or the other right so you can take it you can take some things from there as well so form a network yeah. networking is very important very very important so that is one thing that you can do because i ha- i know a lot of people in fssa also uh, this salman there is uh, abhinay who are technical officers and they keep posting something or the other related to fssai or tips and tricks to clear these exams and everything so this might help them so it's always better if you start networking instead of you know spending time on facebook and insta just for a few months yeah. maybe they can spend some time on linkedin so any specific study material if you want to suggest it to students no majorly this um, you you can refer to any books the, you know maybe you can start with uh, sanjeev kumar sharma for mcqs and then you can i think uh, during our time the paper was comparatively i i don't know i cannot even compare how do i compare because it was the first time right but then the exam was not as difficult because if you just get the hang of the basics of food technology i think even that would work but then you should be very thorough with it and fssa website of course okay so i think that would surely help the candidates because that was a very good you know piece of advice for all so sakshi we had a really serious talk here right so to break the seriousness of the room let's do a rapid fire so i'll ask you questions and you answer you reply whatever comes to your mind hearing to it um, okay one thing you miss about do everything everything <laughs> everything is that one word be it going to src yeah and then going to satya niketan gtv nagar and then just to you know go out and watch plays everything union everything was fun fest the the list is endless yeah. when it comes to delhi university right and one thing you uh, you know miss about niftem or oh, the night outs I hope none of the you know faculty members are watching this for the night out. And one thing you are loving about FSSAI. Uh the sense of responsibility. You know that you you know you're contributing towards a cause towards society. So the very fact is in itself sufficient to make you work there. I'll also I I'd also like to share one of the incidents okay so our advisor when I was in quality assurance division so our advisor would always ask us to wear our i cards even if no one would be wearing he'd always wear it okay and he's ask he'd ask us also to wear i cards he said that you know it because the i card was close to your heart it was it will always um, make you strive to work harder because you know it's a cause that you're working for so that is one thing that you know it's always in my head mm-hmm. okay so uh before wrapping up sakshi what would be your advice to the aspiring food technologists who are you know having the dream who are looking to get into fssai okay so i'd uh, want people to be more competitive competitive in the sense i'd want them to be competitive with themselves i mean not with others ki iska na ho aur mera ho jaye not that but be competitive strive to be better than yourself strive to be better than what you were yesterday even you know slightest of changes towards a positive note does work so uh, you know i i have always wanted to be in the authority so i've always i did not really work towards it but then i've always had this in my head that one day i want to be your one day i want to be your 
I I did work towards it in a way that I'd very I was very loyal to my subject, my curriculum, my studies. So even if that can make you, you know, come here, so so the love for your subject is very important, right? Important, very right? very important, very important. Okay, Sakshi. So thank you so much for being on the show. This was really a very informative session, and I think a lot of students would benefit from it. and you, you shared really good and you know Im- useful information so thank you so very much for your time and we hope for a b- brighter future in fssai all the very best thank you so much all the best to all the aspirants also also i hope to see a lot of you guys here so that we all work together <laughs> thank you thank you everyone for watching we hope this was a very informative session for you all please like share and subscribe to our channel and in case you have any questions or queries from us or from sakshi please leave them in the comment section below we'd be coming up with more fight talk discussing areas and addressing your doubts in different uh, topics so stay tuned